Okay, so Mel Gibson, this was a long time ago. People probably don't even remember it, but, back, but I say 11 years ago, back in 2010, I was about 19, 20. I was a college kid. I was too busy trying to graduate college. But at the time, I was a little younger than I am now. I'm 30. I, at the time, this happened, I think, 10 years, 11 years ago, 2010. Um, Mel Gibson is a white guy. Um, but apparently, you know, he was in a Lethal Weapon movie with Danny Glover, a black guy. You know, a white guy and a black guy, they were they were the best interracial friendship you could have. A, a, a big, strong black guy, who about 6'4", six, 6'5", six, dark skin with a mustache. And you got this little skinny little white guy who's like always crazy and screaming and whining, and always complaining. So the black guy has to protect the little skinny little white guy. So I, I, like I said, the, the, I watched all four of Lethal Weapon movies and they're very good and they're very, very entertaining. Those are very good movies. I, 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 I mean, I mean, I'm telling you, those are really good movies. You should go if you haven't seen the movies, go watch it. But I never would have thought he would be racist. You know, he never he, no, he's he's done movies with black people. He has friends that are African American. Danny him and Danny Glover are friends in real life. And I'm I'm pretty sure when Danny Glover found out about what, that Mel Gibson is racist, it probably hurt him so bad. Because they're friends, you know, in real life. You know, and I remember there was an interview where somebody actually asked Danny Glover, the black guy, what how do you feel about Mel Gibson? saying racial things about your own people he kind of felt hurt he didn't see he didn't respond he actually said uh, you know whatever he is is, no, is none of my business is his whatever he does is his business you know i still like the guy we're still good friends you know so he wasn't going to say any, talk trash about mel gibson he, i think mel gibson has a lot of stress and a lot of mental problems i think he was jealous of his girlfriend see the problem with his or his wife his wife he, he was strict he's one of those jealous husbands he didn't want his wife talking to other guys. He didn't want guys to look at his wife. If she started wearing shorts or something skimpy, he would get jealous if she if you if she was sex if she would sexual sexualize her body, you know, so guys can lust. He would get jealous. So he was very strict. And I think he said something racial. He was talking on the phone, and she recorded everything that Mel Gibson was saying. He didn't know that she was. A lot of women do this. It's called blackmail. When a woman can frame a guy. You know, and he can go to jail for something he said. That's what exactly what he did. He, see, he, he incriminated his own self because as he was screaming and cussing her out and threatening her, she filmed, she recorded, she had a voiceover, a voice recorder, and she, she was, she um, recorded everything that the guy was saying. So he said something, if you get beat, hurt, attacked by a bunch of N black guys, it'll be all your fault. So basically, he didn't like the way she would, would dress herself. And he actually used a racial slur, and that ruined his career. And, and he's still suffering from what he said over years ago. I had he hasn't really done anything since. And the sad thing is, a lot of black people supported his movies, especially with lethal weapon movies. Those were pe people actually, you know, he didn't, you know, we we said, and for black people, we said that Mel Gibson couldn't be racist because he's 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 friends with a black guy. But to be honest, this actually shows you that. You know, you know, you know that black, you know, white people can be racist, can be friends with a black person and still be racist. Just and, and black people can be friends with a white person and be racist. So it can go both ways, you know. Mr. J. Hippie.